and welcome back to Rosie Sews Modern Vintage. I'm Rosie and it is really lovely to have you here today. I wanted to talk to you today about lots of things that I've been making lately. Um, I've been quite busy considering that actually I've felt quite poorly for quite a few weeks over the last couple of months um, but I do seem to have still achieved quite a lot so I wanted to show you all of that and it includes some fabric that I've been given by a few companies and also a pattern as well um, so I thought I would share with you my thoughts on the companies involved so let's get started. that I wanted to talk about is by Sew Over It and it is the Bonnie blouse and dress. I'll pop a picture of that here or maybe here. <laughs> um, and it's the first pattern that I've ever made from Sew Over It. I really love so many of Lisa Comfort's designs um, but I don't know why I just have never actually purchased any um, and when I was doing some research on you know companies that um, make clothes that would work really well for a vintage style wardrobe I suddenly thought of sew over it mm. and they actually offered to send me a pattern of my choice um, as a, a, a gift in, or in exchange for a review on YouTube so I chose the Bonnie blouse and dress and I was sort of waiting for the right piece of fabric and then I, I thought I'd found something and then I thought no I don't think it's me blah 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 sat around for ages with the pattern not being able to work out exactly what I would make it from and then I was offered some beautiful well the choice of the whole website on Felicity Fabrics and um, they offered me some fabric and I found the perfect piece now I've shown you the fabric before when I did my haul video but I'll just show it to you again so it's this Lady McElroy or Lady McElroy um, and it's called Stalking Beauty and it features all three of my favourite flowers so we have got the stunning peonies here also dahlias they're my favourite and then also we have roses somewhere can't seem to see them oh here we go got some uh roses there like dog roses and yeah there's some more there so they're absolutely stunning all of those florals and then you've got the stalks to match as well and i just thought this is so um kind of in keeping with the 1930s 40s style it's got like a navy very dark navy background and it's this beautiful light viscose that I thought this is going to be perfect and although I'd initially planned to make the bonnie blouse I actually thought you know what this is going to look lovely as a dress um I'm I'm never too sure on the 30s and 40s style dresses as to whether they suit me because I'm plus size and also because I'm in my 40s I always worry that I'm just going to look <clears throat> like a frumpy old lady <laughs> um but anyway i made the dress i was really meticulous with it so often i'll rush through a project because i really want to see it finished but this it was such beautiful fabric and such a lovely pattern as well that i just really wanted to do it justice so i did french seams um, for every part of the dress um, apart from where I joined the waist where I overlocked it to finish off the seams um, and when I made a mistake I actually recut a couple of pieces because I just thought now I want this to be really perfect um, and I just love the result I'm so happy with it um, but the sleeve was really big um, so I added like a couple of pleats down the side just to bring it in a bit um, Probably if I'd have just done unfinished seams, I would have taken a bit out of the in, inside of the seam, sort of here. But because they were French seams, I, I just didn't have the heart to unpick it all. So I sort of um, basted a pleat into the um, sleeve and, and had a look, tried it on. And I thought, yeah, actually, that looks nice. So it meant that my French seams could stay intact. <laughs> um so yeah, so that was one change that I made. I extended the bodice by two inches. 
possibly three actually I'm trying to remember now um which i'm really glad i did because i think if i hadn't have extended it i wouldn't have really got that kind of blousing um that where it sort of fluffs out a bit over the belt and i also extended the skirt by um two inches and then on the waist what you're supposed to do is put elastic into the waist at the back um but i didn't do that i just left it open so it is quite loose at the waist but it just means that i can use a i i, I would wear a belt anyway to cinch it in um and it means that i'm not adding a little bit of extra bulk on the waist um it's you know minimum amount of bulk <laughs> when you're plus size um and i'm just thrilled with the way it hangs i'm really really happy with it um it's sort of made me feel now that i would make more of that style of dress and actually i've been having a look um, on the sew over it website and i'm thinking i might go for the 1940s wrap dress i really like the neck on that um but we'll have to see but anyway i've got this newfound love now of all things viscose and drapey and yes love it so Thank you so much to the ladies at Felicity Fabrics and thank you to the ladies at Sew Over It um, for all of your generous gifts. I really enjoyed making this dress and I know I'm going to get loads of wear out of it. So the next uh, project that I was involved with was the um, Elmira cardigan, which is a wrap style cardigan. It's one of the um, patterns that you can choose when you join seam work um, so I, I've mentioned it before where you pay a monthly fee and then you get either one or two patterns a month free um, so this was one of the patterns that I chose um, I was quite excited about it and I had some really lovely sort of petrol blue um, cotton jersey from Minerva as also a gifted fabric um, and I just thought that would really work well so here is a picture of me wearing here or here uh here is a picture of me wearing the um cardigan now to start with i left the bow untied and just had the cardigan the uh ties just sort of hanging down the side of my body because i felt like it would elongate the body a little bit more which it did do but then when I tied the bow, as you'll see in the next picture where I look very happy, <laughs> I really, really loved it. Um, it made me think of um, Esme Young from The Sewing Bee and how she always says, if you're going to do a bow, go big. Um, and so I hope that she would approve of this one. I mean, maybe it's not big enough. Maybe it needs to be bigger. I don't know. But I really, really loved it. So that's nice because I can wear it either way now um, and like it both ways. The thing I really like about this um, pattern is that it's super quick to sew up, very similar to maybe a sweatshirt pattern or something like that. Um, but for me, I don't really wear sweatshirts because I, I sort of like to, I don't know, I just don't feel very comfortable in that. I don't think it does my body shape very, it doesn't sort of flatter my body shape. And I'm not really that kind of a person that really dresses down that casually anyway. Um, but this wrap cardigan actually felt just as comfortable. So in a way, it's like my version of a sweatshirt. Um, nice and comfy, but still looks pretty and fairly flattering. And um, the fabric, as I say, was given to me by Minerva, and that is a cotton jersey medium weight. Um, I'll put a link if I can. I think I can get a link for that. Yeah, um, in the description below so that you can... Um, and get yourself some if you would like and i'll also do the same with the felicity fabrics um link and also one to the bonnie dress so the final um oh no there's two more so the next garment i'm going to mention is the um made for mermaids uh clueless cardigan now i'd never bought any patterns from Made for Mermaids before, um, although I'd heard really good things. I heard an episode of Love to Sew podcast where um, there was a lady on there talking about how much she liked Made for Mermaids and Patterns for Pirates. They're PDF only patterns um, and they're made in a really sort of large array of sizes and they'll often do like mum and daughter versions of things, which is really cute. Um, so anyway, so I went and had a look on there I'd seen that they'd had an offer whenever it was that I went onto their site um, with like, I don't know, something crazy like 40% off 
their patterns or something. And I've been searching for ages, I think I've mentioned on here before, um, for a cropped cardigan pattern. And I'd seen the Jennifer Lauren handmade juniper cardigan, which I liked the look of, um, which was, I think, going to work out about £15 to purchase the PDF. And then I spotted this one on Made for Mermaids website. And with this sale, it was like $6 or something. So really cheap, under a fiver, I think it worked out at in the end when, when it was converted to sterling. Um, and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to give this a go. So as you'll see now from the image from the pattern, you can do it in all sorts of lengths. Uh, so there's cropped and then there's sort of hip height and then there's long and then you've got a crew neck or a v-neck and short sleeves, three quarter sleeves, long sleeves. The choice is yours. And I really liked that to have that kind of option for all those different um, sort of hacks if you like for, for different shapes and i think it gives you <clears throat> quite a lot of value for money really so um i printed out that pattern and sort of then didn't really find the perfect fabric although i'd seen um one of the pictures on made for mermaids website of a lady wearing the cropped version in a leopard print and i really really liked it so i thought i need to try and find myself some of that fabric and i did it is this fabulous stretch jersey. Um, it's kind of it's white and shiny on the back, and then the jersey on the front, and it's stretchy. And this is from Wow Fabrics. Now I don't know if you've heard of them. They're not um, super well known yet, but they are a print to order service. So you can either design your own print or or um, yeah, design your own print that you can um, have printed onto a fabric of your choice or you can use one of their designs that they've already got on their website and they've got loads and I think they add to them every month as well and when I saw this one I just thought that is the one I really love it and it's just going to be perfect for this made for mermaids clueless cardigan um, and then I was torn because I didn't really know they sort of described all of their fabrics and the choice of base that you could have this printed on but I didn't really understand what weight they were and what they're going to feel like so they offered to send me a swatch pack and it just came with every single fabric base that they have um, and all of the details about it and so when I had a look at them I was going to go for like a ponty or something like that and then when I felt the um, stretch velvet I thought actually that would be really nice because it'll almost hang maybe like a jacket so here is the finished version and it has worked out like a like a, a jacket really um like a little bolero almost and i really really do love it i think i would like to make this in a few plain colors as well now there were a few problems with the pattern well i had um so the neck band i found was too long and i think i'll insert a little video possibly if i've got one but anyway the basically the collar should sit flat on your neck or on your um, chest but it just raises slightly and I think if I could just shorten the um, band next time that you know would stop that happening and the other thing is that the one of the bands that comes down um, has kind of rippled and I think maybe that was a little bit too long as well but that could have been my cutting rather than the pattern so I wouldn't like hold that against made for mermaids because thousands of people rave about them so it's probably my my mistake um but i loved the, working with this fabric um do go and have a look at wow fabrics website they've got so much to choose from most of the fabrics that they the bases that they sell are stretch um but they do include a sports lycra which is perfect for swing costumes so i have got some black that some of that in black with red cherries on that I'm going to try making um, a sort of 50 style bikini out of so I'm very excited to try that so yeah have a look if you fancy getting artistic and designing your own you can um, and you can have a look on their website to see all their pricing and everything but you can also order your own sample pack um, of the bases so that you can sort of be sure on what you want so yeah really can thoroughly recommend Wow Fabrics 
and I want to thank them as well for sending me that lovely material. And now it is the last thing. I was sent <clears throat> this beautiful jersey. It's, like, it's a really nice um, pinky red, like a raspberry, which is really, you know, just a little bit different because like a lot of the reds that I wear are quite bright red and this is just a little bit softer um, and this was sent to me again as a gift from Luberdi Fabrics and I used it to make up another gift which was from Jennifer Lauren Handmade and it was the um, gable top and with the lovely slash neck I just thought that would be really nice um, made up in a stripe and I've been looking, I really, this is, this one is the Monetta and I do make a lot of these for kind of a, a high neck, um, wide neck top, but I just wondered whether there's anything out there that, that could better it. And I think that the Jennifer Lauren one is fantastic. Um, however, I did have a bit of a problem. I printed out my pattern, but I didn't measure the square you know the one they say measure this it should be four inches by four inches or whatever I didn't measure it and I think that my pattern printed out too big because the sleeve pieces didn't all the paper pieces didn't fit together properly and then um when I sort of made it work when I was sewing the top together the sleeves were huge so they were kind of hanging down to here and they were so long they were like off my hand here it was ridiculous and um, I have sent an email to Jennifer just to find out if there's a known problem with it but I do think that that was my my poor printing and I will update you on that um, once I have an answer but I'm confident that that was that was a problem with my printer because you know so many people have made the gable top and never had a problem but i really love the high neck when i've i've not actually taken some pictures of it yet so look out on my instagram for some pictures and um, but i i really do like the fact that instead of like on this it is sort of a scoop with the jennifer lauren one it literally comes across like this and i really like that for a, um, a nice 1950s look especially if i wear it with some high-waisted trousers or something like that so I'll keep you posted on that. But I'm really, really happy with everything that I was using this month. Again, I'll give you a link to Luberdoo Fabrics. They sell some, just so many gorgeous jerseys. I'm always spoiled for choice. Um, and uh, I, yeah, I think that's everything that I've made now. So my next plans video will be up soon, but I've got loads more that I want to do, including my bikini, which I will let, let you see the pattern that I've got planned in my next video. Um, and apart from that, I think that's everything I have to tell you today. So thank you so much for coming back to see me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe if you would like to see more. And in the meantime, happy sewing. Bye.